All right, guys. If you're anything like us, I carry an OTF out the front pocket knife. Now, on occasion, I've had it get where it gets really gummed up and it just doesn't want to work right. Now, it doesn't matter if it's a Microtech or a Cobra Tech. These things both are going to have that same issue, especially if you carry it in your pocket all the time. So I'm going to show you how to take it apart, clean it, and put it back together. Stick with us. I'll tell you all about it. This video is intended for all ages. All right, so starting off today, we are going to be taking my Cobra Tech Sidewinder. This is an exceptional little knife. We're going to take it apart. We're going to show you how to clean it. We're going to lube it up, put it back together, and then we're going to go about our day. Let's see. I've already removed three of my screws. I still have three more, and I also have the glass breaker, which holds the pocket clip. What I'm going to do is I'm going to finish disassembling this, and I'll show you what's going on. Now, I will say that this thing comes in very handy. I haven't carried this knife for a few weeks, and everything you see here comes with the knife. You get the little, the little work tool, which allows you to take these things apart. It works really well, makes it easy. If it's a little stubborn, you got the little bar. The little bar can go through here like so and just give you a little more leverage because it is a very odd shape. It's a little triangle screw. So not something I had in stock and I have a lot of tools. All right, so now it's disassembled. Got all the screws out. We're just gonna pop it apart. Now, when you're reassembling it, the simple part is making sure that this is this has these two little catches. One keeps it from going too far forward. One keeps it from going to locking it back. Exactly the mechanism of moving in and out. Um, I'm not worried about this part. This part I'll lube up, but I'm going to take this out. And all you're going to do is slide your blade forward. And there is a little catch right there. You're going to pop that up and the blade will slide out. Now, I'm going to be using my frog lube cleaning kit. Now, this is great for firearms, but it's also good for knives, especially OTF knives. A lot of moving, a bunch of different moving parts. I've got my cleaning paste. If you've never used Frog Lube, it is a phenomenal product. It is food grade, non-petroleum based cleaning product designed by Navy SEALs. Very cool stuff. So what you're going to use is we've got a spray solvent. We're going to spray on there, clean all this off, get all this all, all the gunk off. This is where the culprit falls in. Down in there, it just gets gummed up, especially if you pocket carry like I do. Just gets lint and stuff built up in there. It gets it where it doesn't want to function correctly. That happens with any OTF knife, Microtex, any of it. But the thing I like most about these, these Cobra Tex, is they come with the tool to take it apart. That's awesome. Let's get started. Now with this stuff, all you got to do is spray a little on it. Spray it down in there. Let it get in there. Now this is the coolest part because they've got these Swabit kits in here. Swabits are reusable uh, cleaning products. Uh, bore brushes. They're basically like Q-tips on steroids. Very cool stuff. All different shapes, sizes, work great for getting down in those cracks and crevices that we're dealing with here today. But first off, you're going to spray this thing down, and then we're going to take this, and we're going to scrub it. We're going to get all that off, all that fouling, all that gunk that just gets down in there from a moving knife. Doesn't take much. This stuff works really good. And it's amazing because it's a bio product. It's not solvent based. So I like it. And it smells good. It smells like peppermint. I mean, look at that. In that short of time, I mean, just that. And I use this knife a lot. So, boom. Next, I'm going to bring this over here. Do the same thing. Get down in there. Get all that. Just get it clean. Take your time. 
I won't keep you around for all this. Don't worry about it. All right. Now you see. Now, if you need to, if you get some stubborn gunk down in there, you take one of these and you get it way down in there. What you're going to be able to do when you're done is spray these little swab it tabs uh, with this solvent. Clean it off, let it dry, and it'll be good to go next time you use it. Very cool stuff. Just spray that on there, and it'll be good to go again. Put it back in your little kit, and it just works. Like I said, this stuff does smell really good. Now, I'm going to clean this part. Just give it the old scrub. Some people might say it's not that dirty, but it fouled on me. It didn't want to work once or twice. And that's enough for me. Once that happens, I might as well take it apart. If I'm talking about using a pocket knife like this on a regular basis to protect myself, why would you want it to foul ever? All pocket knives like this, all OTF knives, are going to fail. Or foul, I should say, not fail. I mean, because I guess that's what you're looking at is the fact that it's going to not come out when you want it to. So, there you go. Got that one clean. Now, you can take the handle and all that off, the trigger, you know, the actuator out here. You can take that apart. It's got a little Phillips screw if you want to take it out, but not necessarily today. I'm not planning on doing that much to it. I just wanted it clean. I mean, and as you see, this stuff is incredible. We're going to go like that. Now, we're going to get our lube. Our frog lube, this is the extreme. It originally, it wasn't designed for, what do you call it, um, severe weather, like extreme weather. That's why it's called extreme, because now it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this, and I'm going to put it where I need it. All my little moving parts and my little actuators in there, when it, a little bit drop down in there, and anywhere where you're going to have contact where the blade's going to move. Like down in here, you don't need to leave a like excessive amount. Just put some down in there, keep it clean, to, so it'll lubricate it. And that's what we want. Now, I've already got my stuff down in there. I'm just going to take this, move everything around, remove any excess. We don't want excessive amounts of any lube. Because all it's going to do is it's going to draw more dirt and dust and things like that. So... Just going to rub this down in there, lube up all those little cracks and crevices, channels, just to protect that stuff. Especially if you ever take it out and drop it in the lake. Not that I've done that, but, you know, I can see it happening to some people. Maybe. All right, so now we're going to put it back together. All you're going to do is you slide the blade back in. This little latch has to go up. So we're going to flip that up a little, and it'll slide in. Now, you don't have to, you don't want to go all the way back. You just want it right about there. That makes it where when you reinstall this, this little tab needs to be in that gap. And then what you're going to do is reset the blade. And I'll show you how to do that. Now, this little mat is awesome because it keeps all your little tiny screws from getting lost. Very handy. It's nothing special. I bought it off Amazon. But when you're taking certain things apart, whether I'm using it for fishing reels or one of my firearms or a knife, they just have a purpose. Take all these, put them all back together. I won't make you watch all this. snug those down now we're going to put our glass breaker on now i carry mine on the opposite side now this is already done so we can pull that all the way forward now i'm going to install my glass breaker it's 
same thing as the others. Here's a little bar, torque it down. There, doesn't take a lot. Put all this back in your case so you won't lose it. Just like that. Fantastic. Now I've liked it because I haven't had been able to use this knife for a while, but I just thought it might be useful. Been kind of limited on the amount of time I can spend on our channel right now, and I apologize for that. But this is something really important, and it's something super useful. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As you see, it's an easy process. Don't be overwhelmed by it. Don't be afraid to take this thing apart because, I mean, as long as you keep track of it, if you have to, take photos. If you, if you need to, take photos of each time you take something off just so you can remember where it goes. That is super helpful. I've done that with lots of fishing reels and other components. Now... I'm going to clean these two. These are the two I used. I'm going to clean those first, and then I'm going to put them back in the container. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and hopefully you found it useful. If you own a Cobra Tech or another out-the-front knife, learn how to take it apart. Learn how to clean it. Learn how to lube it. This is something that could save your life one day. You need to treat it like it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. God bless each and every one of you. Take time this week to get outside, and above all, stay safe. God bless everyone. We'll see you soon.